Hey guys, Kate Kennedy here with a layout for the Blitzy Creative Team. Today I wanted to focus on some hidden journaling. So what I've done here is taken my typewriter and a shipping tag and I'm typing out the lyrics to a song, which is going to be my journaling for this layout. And I think there are many reasons why you would want to have hidden journaling. One is because for the design purposes that maybe there's not room for your journaling or it will be too busy. And then also maybe it's because it's something that you want to keep private or you don't want people to that are just flipping through your album to initially you know read maybe it's something you want to you know have them read it when you tell them about it so what I've done here is I have created I'm going to create kind of a pocket behind the layers of paper and you can do this with paper but I took the easy way and just used a glassine bag and I'm going to adhere the glassine bag to the bottom layer of my photo cluster and then that shipping tag will just slide right into it and you can do this many different ways you could use any kind of bag this is just what I had any size shipping tag there's tons of different ways you can do this you could also tuck it on the back of the layout if you really didn't want you know if you really wanted it to be not part of the design at all or just make your layers bigger so you couldn't see it but I liked the look of it and I wanted the whoever was looking through my album to know that there was more journaling there that explains kind of the title because this picture is not very self-explanatory. I think a lot of times uh, the photo tells the story but in this one it really doesn't because our first dance was to the song by Johnny Cash called Walk the Line and my brother played the drums on it which was really cool and my husband's best friend sang so it was really a neat thing to have them be part of that. So I'm using these sort of transparent acrylic or plastic lettering stickers or lettering pieces from Pink Paisley and they don't have any sticky on them and I didn't want the adhesive to show so I just used the Xyron sticker maker and it's perfect you're not gonna be able to see any adhesive on the back of them which is really cool and I just used my little phone folder there to kind of burnish is that the word burnish it to make sure that when I peeled this away I got all of the sticky off around it and there wasn't any left on the on the um, around the letters so this is a really simple composition for a layout and I think it's a great kind of go-to design because you can do many dif different things with it I just used a piece of grid paper as the background and then it, I did a very monochromatic layout and I've done this before I, I like the way that it looks I think it's cool with a black and white picture so I just used some gray um, pattern paper and then some layers of black and white pattern paper. And I'm going to add a few strips to the bottom of the layout just to kind of bring in a little bit more pattern. And then I'm going to embellish it with a bunch of puffy stars and hearts and just fun little things. But what I really wanted to, um, to focus on in this layout is the hidden journaling. And I just think that's a really fun thing to do. Sometimes I feel like, oh, I don't like my handwriting that much. And I don't really want it to be, you know, part of a layout sometimes. I I want to tell the story, but I don't I don't want it to be that much of a of a design element. So I think that hiding your journaling is just a great way to get the story told, get the information on the layout that goes with it. So that years from now looking back, you'll know exactly what you were thinking or what this picture was about but you don't have to have your handwriting or anything on the page. <laughs> so like I said, I'm just going to finish up embellishing this, and I just went through my stash and pulled some things that were black and white and gray and just added little bits and bobs everywhere. So that is pretty much going to finish up the composition of this layout. Um, thanks, guys, so much for watching, and I would love to hear how you tell your story on your layouts. Do you journal directly on them? Do you type it up and use it as part of the design? Do you hide your journaling? Thanks again, and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.